Warning, these videos are designed for HVAC professionals only. Please, please do not attempt this on your own stuff. Welcome to TEC Tube. I'm Neil and I work in the commercial tech support department. Today's topic is gonna to be programming ABB drives, specifically for our low tonnage unit, two speed options. What you'll need is the ABB keypad to do this, along with motor nameplate data and ABB drive specific model number. Before we do the startup, we're gonna to need to know a couple bits of information. First being the drive motor number. There'll be an HK number. There'll be a sticker on the front part of the drive. Along with some motor nameplate information, we're gonna to need to know the RPMs, voltage, full load amps, and service factor off it. So once, once we have that and we're ready to start, we're gonna take our ABB keypad. You need to have this to get and plug in and retrieve the information for startup or any VFD installation after because the VFDs will come not programmed. The ones that'll come from the factory will come with a program in it, but it's always good to double check to make sure you got the right parameters in it. To do that, you take the cover off the ABB drive itself, take our ABB keypad and snap it in place. At this point, the LED screen will illuminate and we can now check our parameters. When we're about to program and set up the VFD, the first parameter you're gonna see is, do you want to use the startup selection? The answer is no. Go down to no, select, hit okay. It's gonna say, should we show this? The show assistant on next boot? The answer is no. Scroll down to no, okay. Now we wanna enter our parameters. What we always wanna make sure before we enter our parameters in the upper left corner, that the VFD drive is an off. It needs to be an off for it to accept our parameter changes. You can exit that. To enter the parameters, we select menu. Menu would be in the upper right corner. Hit that arrow and parameters would be selected. Parameters is highlighted, hit the enter button. Now we're in the parameter section. First parameter we're gonna go to is parameter 99. So you simply hit the up arrow Parameter 99 is gonna be startup data. Hit select, go to parameter 9905, which is gonna be our motor nominal voltage. Now this is very important for us to have um, because we have 208, 230 units along with 460 units. So we need to make sure that on our motor nameplate, it's set for 208, 230 or 460. At this point, we would check our incoming power. And for today's reference, we're gonna use 230 as our voltage. If your motor voltage was 208, this is where you would change it. If your motor was 460, this is where you would change it. However, the 208-230 voltage drives are specific for 208-230, 460 is a different drive. Once, we're, once we verify that 9905 is our, is our incoming power voltage at 230, we'll go down to parameter 9, 9906. 9906 is gonna be our motor nominal amps. Now this is gonna be part of the information that you already retrieved from the motor nameplate. We know that for our purposes here today, we're gonna use 7.6 amps as our nominal current. Right now it's set at 7.5, so we need to edit that. So we'll hit the edit button and change it to 7.6. Once that's down to 7.6, we hit the save button. Now we're gonna check 99, parameter 9907. We're gonna make sure it's 60 Hertz, 9908, is that is our fan RPM speed. This is also gonna be another portion that we took off our motor nameplate. For today's reference, our RPM is 1735. So we're gonna change that to 1735. Once that's done and edited, we save it. Now we're gonna to go to 9909, which is our motor nominal horsepower. We have 2.9 horsepower and we should have 2.9 horsepower in that motor. That is correct. Now, once we're done with the 99s, we're gonna to go to parameter 12. So exit out, of, exit out of parameter 99 and go to parameter 12. Arrow down to see 12. Once you see 12 highlighted, hit the select button. Now we're in the 12 parameters. We're gonna to go to parameter 1201. 1201, we need to make DI 2, 3. 
which it's set at. So if Ryan would hit the edit button, as you can see, the I2 comma three appears. This is a very important parameter because if you do have a new VFD, it's not gonna come set up for that. And right above the cancel button, you'll see a number in a bracket. That bracket number is number eight. As Ryan would hit the up or down arrow, if he did select, you can see that that number changes. So sometimes you'll hear us reference a, a band number or a bracket number. And when we reference bracket eight or number eight in the bracket, DI2 comma three, because if Ryan hits the down arrow, keep going down until you see a negative eight. You can also have a negative eight that reads DI2 comma three. Please make sure that's set to positive eight, DI2 comma three, without the INV in brackets. It's a very important parameter to check. And once he's got that at eight, you hit the save button. Then we'll check our constant speeds. Constant speed, 1202. That's gonna be our low speed, so that 40 hertz. So that's gonna be for Y1 or fan. 1203, we're gonna set at 60 hertz, and that's gonna be for Y2 call, or any call for heat or dehumidification. These are all interchangeable. So this will be what the air balancer would change for, his, for your low speed minimum position and then your high speed position. So he can change the Hertz ratings on either of those two. So constant speed 1202 and constant speed 1203 are what the air balancer would change. We're gonna exit out of the 12 parameters now. We're gonna go to parameter 14. So we hit the exit button, scroll down to parameter 14, hit select. And we're gonna go to parameter 1401. We're gonna make sure that 1401 is set to FLT forward slash alarm. So 1401, and this is gonna be number 16. So as, as you scroll up and you see the word or the letter 16 in the bracket, you know that you have FLT forward slash alarm. Save that, that parameter is now saved. Now we're gonna exit out of the 14 parameters and go to parameter 20. Parameter 2003 is gonna be our max amp. So that's gonna be what our service factor is combined with the amps that we already took off the motor nameplate. So 7.6 times our service factor gives us an 8.7 max amp. So once 8.7 is put in, we're gonna hit the save button. And then we're gonna check out parameter 2007, which is gonna be our minimum freak, which should be zero. And 2008, our maximum freak, which should be 60. Once that is verified, we're gonna exit out of the 20s and we're gonna go to parameter 21, our start stop functions. 2101, we're gonna make sure it's set to auto. 2102, we're gonna make sure it's set to ramp. Edit that, it'll be number two, save that. Set the ramp, now we're gonna exit out of the 21s, we're gonna to go to parameter 22. We're gonna to go to parameter 2201. 2201, we're gonna verify it says not SEL. 2202 should be 30 seconds and 2203 should be 30 seconds. So the, we got one more parameter to check. So let's exit out of the 22s and we're going to parameter 26. Once we enter that one, we're going to go to parameter 2606. And we're going to verify that reads for KHZ. Once that is verified, we have now completed our pre-start version or our, our check version, our pre our reference checks. So what we can do is exit out of this till we get back to our home screen. So hit the exit button um, two or three times till you see all zeros at your home. Now we have all zeros and at this time, we would turn the drive to auto. The auto button's right above the off button. And now we would be able to check if we give it a call for fan, we should see it go up to 40 Hertz. Call for heat would give you up to 60. Y2 would get you to 60. And Y1 would get you to 40. Thank you for watching today's 